That was the wrong uh, screen. Right. Hello. Welcome. Yes, we're going to be doing some Monkey Island. Uh, if I can get the window set up. Right. Yes, I'm running. Hello. Welcome. I'm running Secret of Monkey Island through ScumVM, which is I do recommend it if you ever play any of these older adventure games. It's compatible with quite a lot of them. Uh, I believe pretty much any one that you can think of. So. Oh good, it just transitioned. And we get to enjoy that lovely soundtrack. I like this game so much. <laughs> Though originally I played the second one first at one of my friend's houses. Ugh. Though I do own both of them now in a classic adventures pack on a CD. I've never seen this game before. What? Really? Well, you're in for a treat then. Secret of Monkey Island is an adventure game created by LucasArts uh, back in... Oh, jeez. Uh, 94? Something like that? This is a CD-ROM version, so it has nicer music. Though, I do... For people who are interested in it, I do recommend listening to the PC speaker sound file. Uh, the PC speaker main tune for it, because it's remarkably well done, considering that the PC speaker is a single channel. 1994, I... Actually, I'm going to look that up. <laughs> I should know off the top of my head. Uh, of Monkey Island. 1990, actually, not 1994. Pardon me, I was four years off. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I want to be a pirate. Wait, hey, don't sneak up on me like that. Uh, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You will look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck. Um, where did you say the pirate leaders were? The scum bar. Right. Thanks. Do do do. Lots of competition such as TS Arena and Super Metroid. <laughs> uh. Part 1. The Three Trials. So yes, I have played through this game quite a few times, so this is not going to be a blind run in any shape or form. So, as you can see, it's the updated CD version, so we have a better, um, what's it called, verb selection down here, and a bit of a better UI than the really early versions of it. Uh, if other people are interested in playing Secret of Monkey Island, it is actually available on I believe GOG? I would assume so. If not, there is a, there is it is available on Steam uh, with a updated re-release version of it, which came out a number of years ago, which actually has voice acting in it, with the art of Guybrush Threepwood being voiced appropriately by uh oh, I've just blanked on his name. Dominique Amato? I think is his name, the voice actor for um, Guybrush Threepwood in the third game. And uh, let's see. Yep, Dominique Marto. Oh, and Earl Bowen as LeChuck. So, very appropriate. And it also has upgraded graphics. Oh, improve. 
upgraded graphics. I prefer the older ones, that's why I'm playing the original. Re-elect Governor Marley. When there's only one chat candidate, there's only one choice. Uh, can we pick that up? I can't pick that up. Okay, fine. What else is in 90? Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but yes, as I said, I played the second one of this before the first one. And here's the scum bar. Look at door. I don't see anything special about it. Okay, can we push door? I can't move it. Open door. Nice sound effects too. Uh, the scum bar is called such because the engine which this was running on was called the scum engine. I forget what it's called. I forget what it stands for exactly. Let me have a look. Uh, da 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 da. Does it mention it anywhere? The scum engine. Script creation utility for Maniac Mansion. Which is an even older game by Lucas uh, Lucasfilm Games. Sorry, I said LucasArts. Lucasfilm Games. So let's go in. Hmm. This looks like a likely den of <laughs> piratiness. Oi there, stranger! New in town! My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? Ha ha ha! That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Well, what's your name? My name is Mancoom Seepgood. So what brings you to Mealy Island anyway? I really don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Well, it sure wasn't for the sunshine. I think you need some guidance. You should go talk to the important looking pirates in the next room. They're pretty much in charge around here. They can tell you where to go and what to do. Where can I find the governor? Governor Marley? Her mansion is on the other side of town. But pirates aren't as welcome around her place as they used to be. I'm welcome everywhere I go. Whatever you say. Just watch out for those guard dogs. Uh oh, looks like my grog's going flat, so you'll have to excuse me. Nice talking to you. Oh, he's polite. Have fun on Melee Island, TM. I was forgetting the TM. <laughs> Uh, pick up pirate. I can't pick that up. No. He's like glued to the table. Talk to pirate. I don't want- I don't think it's wise to wake a sleeping pirate. Push pirate. I can't move it. He's immovable. Uh, what about this guy here? Talk to pirate. What are you looking at me for? I should come up with a different voice for him, but I've got pretty much one pirate voice. <laughs> uh. Uh, I'd like to introduce myself. My name's Skybrush. Yeah, so what? Uh, why aren't pirates welcome at the governor's house? Because of LeChuck, that's why. He's the guy that went to the governor's for dinner and never wanted to leave. He fell for her in a big way, but she told him to drop dead. So he did. Then things really got ugly. How did things get ugly? The Chuck was a fearsome pirate. He tried to impress the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island, TM. But a mysterious storm came up and sank his ship, leaving no survivors. We thought that was the end of the fearsome pirate, the Chuck. We were wrong. <laughs> like a surprised face though. What is the secret of Monkey Island, TM? Only LeChuck knows. He still sails the waters between here and Monkey Island, TM. His ghost ship is an unholy terror upon the sea. That's why we're all in here and not out pirating. 
I can't even include the TM. They got it trademarked and everything. They paid for that. <laughs> uh. What happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens when... Hey, wait a second. That's none of your business. Where can I get a drink? A drink? You could wait for the cook to notice you. But that could take all day. Just find a bug and sneak into the kitchen. That's what we all do. Well, apparently you don't pay for it, any of it. I mean, why would they pay? They're pirates. <laughs> Excuse me, but I'm looking for the dartboard. Dartboard? We don't have one anymore. There was a horrible accident. Drinking and darts don't mix. Look, this whole LeChuck thing has me pretty shaken up. So if you don't mind... Yeah. We can talk to all these lovely chaps. <laughs> I'm take, I would probably take my time through this. I could speed through it. But it's been quite a few years since I've played Monkey Island. Uh, can we talk to this guy? I think they're busy. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think we could talk to this guy. Yep. Hey. Has he got his hat on by a string, or is his beard being held on by a string? By yourself. Hey. Nice hat. Hey. Ask me about Loom, apparently. So tell me about Loom. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling for Lucasfilm's TM Brian Moriarty, TM. Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning high-resolution 3D landscapes. Sophisticated score and musical effects. <laughs> Advertisement. <laughs> Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects. Elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom TM today. Jeez, what an obvious sales pitch. Sorry, but on some topics I just get carried away. Nice talking to you. Hey. Loom is a good game. I have played it. It's, um... I want to say it's the first adventure game made by Lucasfilm Games. Uh, no. Uh, it's not the first one, actually. But it was before this one. So, but it was after uh, Maniac Mansion. Uh, when was it made, actually? Loom. Nope, that is the knitting machine. Loom, video game. It's a 1990 fantasy game, so it had just come out in the same year Monkey Island, Secret of Monkey Island came out. Yeah. Oh, and there goes the cook. So yes, Loom is an interesting game. It was supposed to be a trilogy, but it never, it never sold enough to warrant the making of the other two parts. Talk to talk. Grrr. Woof. Woof? Arf woof. Arf woof. Arf woof. Arf woof. Melee Island, TM. Arf woof. woof. The Chuck. Grrr. Woof, the Chuck. Arf, 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 arf. Arf, arf, woof. Arf, 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 arf. Governor Marley. Ow, oh, ow. Oh. <laughs> Arf, arf, arf. Arf, arf, arf. The Chuck. Grrr. Arf, oof. Monkey Island, TM. Sniff, sniff. Hmm, very interesting. Oh, well. Uh, let's have a look at these guys. Look at important looking pirates. What do you mean, once and boy? Oh, I just talked to them anyway. <laughs> I mean to kill you all. Get lost, boy, you bother us. Oh. <laughs> okay, fine. Look at the fireplace. Cozy. Uh, can you pick it up? I can't pick that up. Okay, fine. Well, we'll talk to them. But you be wanted, boy. Uh, I want to be a fireman. Get lost, boy. Oh. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's do what we're supposed to be doing here. I want to be a pirate. 
So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this whole LeChuck thing. Oh. So no pirates means no swag. No swag means no grog. We're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. Well, all right, but you can't, don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through the three trials. <laughs> uh, what three trials are those? They are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword, then the art of thievery, and the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Right. You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and er, uh, treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. And then you must drink grog with us. Grog, 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 grog. <laughs> Tell me about mastering the sword. First, get ye a sword. You must seek out and defeat the Swordmaster. Someone in town can probably direct you. <clears throat> There's this pirate voice that's going to play havoc on my throat. You'll want to find someone to train you first. Haha. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on the Swordmaster without any training. Ha 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 ha. You'll probably get less gravelly. <clears throat> Tell me more about mastering the art of thievery. We want you to procure a small item for us. The idol of many hands. In the governor's mansion. The governor keeps the idol of many hands in the display case in the mansion outside of town. You'll have to get past the guards, naturally. The tricky part will be getting past the dogs outside. They're a particularly vicious breed. You might be able to drug them or something. <laughs> okay. Tell me more about treasure hunting. Legend has it that there's a treasure buried here on the island. All you must do is find the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island, TM, and bring it back here. Should I have a map or something? You can hardly expect to find a treasure without a map. And don't forget, X marks the spot. Har har har. You're a bunch of foul smelling grog swilling pigs. To be a pirate, you must also be a foul smelling grog swilling pig. <laughs> I like how the music stopped. What's in that grog stuff anyway? <clears throat> grog is a secret mixture which contains one or more of the following kerosene. Prolipine glycol, glycol, artificial sweetness, sulfuric acid, rum, acetone, red dye number two, scum, axle grease, battery acid, and or pepperoni. And as you can probably imagine, it's one of the most caustic volatile substances known to man. The stuff eats right through these mugs and the cook is losing a fortune replacing them. Har har har. I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. Okay, fine. Uh, can we go into the kitchen? Open door. Hey! You can't come back here! Look at door. Oh, we can't look at it. Can I talk to the door? Nope. I think if we just wait around here for a moment. There we go. Oh, okay. Don't go into the kitchen. Will he continue? Yeah, he'll continue. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Pick up the hunk of meat. Pick up the pot. Oh, there's a seagull. And it's eating the fish. <clears throat> this seagull is actually from Loom.
We need that fish. More than you, little seagull. Plank's stuck. Aw. <laughs> okay. Look at this. Potter stew. It's boiling hot. Can we pick it up? Nope. It's too hot. Look at barrel. I think it's full of that foul stuff pirate's drink. Open barrel. It doesn't seem to open. Can we pick it up? I can't pick that up. Okay, fine. Let's leave. Meanwhile... <clears throat> Deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck's ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir, I... Ah, uh, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. Ah, uh, sir, I... It stays like this that makes you glad to be dead. Oh yes, sir. Glad to be dead. You are glad to be dead, right? Oh yes, sir. I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship, then murdered me and everyone on board. Yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island, TM. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've scared those sissy pirates so scared. I've got those sissy pirates so scared in the sea they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young, inexperienced, probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bothered you with it. I'll have him taken care of myself. Wait. I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. I can't do a very... <laughs> I'm not doing LeChuck justice. Uh, the voice actor for him is fantastic in Curse of Monkey Island. Except no substitutes. Not even me. Anyway. We'll walk into Melee Island. No. What's this place called? <laughs> It's it's town, it's town of Melee Island, citizen of Melee. What are you looking at? Um, I don't know. Can I push you? Oh, there's just a guy wandering around, and there he goes. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? N no, but I once had a barber named Dominique. Close enough. Let's talk business. You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island, TM? Only one in existence. <clears throat> rare. Very rare. Only a hundred pieces of eight. No thanks, I don't have any money. Well then, buzz off, kid. It's bad for business. Okay. Uh, let's go in this door. Oh. Wait. <laughs> How do these doors work? <laughs> Here's some more people. Wait, look at the clock. It's ten o'clock. Hmm. Still ten o'clock. Seems like it's always 10 o'clock on this island. Maybe the clock stop. Uh, hey, don't mess with my rat. Oh. Uh, yeah. I said don't pester the rat. <laughs> don't mouse over the rat. <laughs> hey, nice rat. Do you like rats? Yes, I love rats. No, I can't stand them. Yes, especially a light wine sauce. <laughs> Yes, I love rats. I used to have two pet rats. They're very intelligent creatures. Har 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 har. They're more, into more intelligent than him. Why, there's a story about these parts that a bunch of rats actually crewed a ship here from fabled Monkey Island, TM. No, that's not right. 
It's actually a group of monkeys. That's amazing. That's difficult to believe. No way could a bunch of stupid monkeys crew a ship. That's difficult to believe. Yeah, but it's true. When they arrived, they sold the ship for a pretty, pretty penny. Only time I've ever I've seen anyone get the better of all stand in a deal. I thought it was rats. Do you guys know the sneaky looking man on the opposite corner? Wanna buy a map, eh? Our maps are top quality, not like the birdcage liners you can get for that clown across the street. Nah, just kidding. There are actually copies of the minutes of the last meeting of the Melee Island PTA TM. <laughs> can't, give, can't even give them away. Why would you be having multiple copies of minutes of a meeting? Or one? When do they go into like a filing system? No, but I'll take one if you give me two pieces of eight. Okay, that's fair. So, are you guys pirates? No, we're a wandering circus troop. But this rat scared away the elephant. Shut up, Bert. Of course we're pirates. Can't, eat, can't buy clothes like these off the rack. What do you want? How could you're on this street corner and knock on a, not on a ship looting, pillaging, sacking, that sort of thing? Well, pirating hasn't been panned out, panning out so well for us. There are some unnaturally talented pirates in the area right now. Operating out of Monkey Island, TM. So we've been pursuing alternate means of self-support. We're trying to start up a circus. It was working out well until the rat scared off the elephant. Now you have depressed us. Go home. Okay, fine. Oh, he actually gave us a copy of the minutes and two pieces of eight. Look at minutes. There sure are a lot of spelling errors. Uh, look at two pieces of eight. I have two pieces of eight. What about this? It's some sort of meat or meat light, su meat light substance. Look at the pot. Someone cooked a head cheese in this. And fish. I think it's a herring. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, the jokes. Uh, what's this sign? Ye oldie rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle, shoppy. Serving your rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle needs for over 50 years. What a pedigree. I installed Grim Fandango myself. Played it a couple of months ago, but lacked patience at the time, so I never finished it. Um... I have played Grim Fandango. I do own it on CD. <clears throat> I never finished it myself either. Uh, I think I got close to the end, but I think it crashed. <laughs> it's rather long. It is a good game though. Visually, it's very impressive. Though the tank controls of the 3D environment are kind of awkward. Ooh. No thanks. I'd rather not touch any of this creepy voodoo stuff. Let's see, there's a bar of bat drip there's a jar of bat drippings, a box that says assorted scales, a shaker full of monkey flakes, and some cat knuckles. Cat knuckles? How barbaric! Look at chickens. Poor chickens. Look at basket. Hmm, I think I hear slithering inside. No thanks. Someone something would probably jump out and bite me. There's some more chickens. More chickens. Look at chicken. Hmm. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. What possible use could that have? Look at bones. Poor little thing. Whatever it was. Look at chunks. Now this is the cup of a carpenter. <laughs> Can we get it? No thanks. Yeah. Can we get the chicken with a pulley in the middle? Rubber chicken. Yoink. Maybe no one will miss just this one thing. Look at couch. Looks comfortable in a spooky sort of way. Uh, okay. Well, let's just leave. Hmm. We'll go up here. <clears throat> let's 
Let's go in here. Hmm. It, a shop? Look at sign. Ring bell for service. It never fails. I step away from the counter for two seconds and some idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. What do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island, TM. The Swordmaster of Melee Island, TM. Hmm, I don't know. Nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I will have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. And don't touch anything. Um, fine. What's over here? <clears throat> Digmaster, TM. The only shovel for serious treasure hunting enthusiasts. Look at safe. Davy Jones, TM. Lockers. The last word in theft. Fire and grog resistant storage devices. I gotta stop on the TM. <laughs> There's too many of them. There's a sword here. Maybe we can buy all that we need here. Slash master. When you want a sword as sharp as your wit. <laughs> so it's too blunt to do anything then. Uh. Look at Bell. I don't see anything special about it. Can we pick up the bell? No. We can't take it. Look at door. I don't see any special about it. Okay, let's leave. Hey you! Come over here! Uh, no thanks. My mama told me never to go into alleyways at night. Here is a church. With ominous music. Doesn't seem to be anything we could do in here. This is not foreboding at all. Let's leave. Psst. Nope. Oh. Walk to doorway. Ah, it's a jail. There's a cell. I can't pick that up. Can you open it? It's locked. No. There's a guy in that one. It's locked. Looks nervous. You gotta get me out of here. I'm a victim of society. Not to mention halitosis. Yeah. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. You're just eating raw rats? Maybe you're cooking them over the torch next to you. <laughs> okay, let's leave. Can't talk to him. Apparently he stinks. Come over here! Oh, there's the mansion. Honor <coughs> me. <sighs> Dogs. Deadly piranha poodles. <laughs> I don't think I can get past them. Now can we talk to them? Woof. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Can we pick them up? I can't pick that up. Can we get past them? I'm not going near them. Okay, fine. Hmm. Well, those are the vicious guard dogs. <laughs> Gonna have to find a way to get past them. Hmm. Sounds like the dogs are barking. Help! 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 Hey you, come over here. Oh, fine. Hello? Anybody in here? Hello? You know, bad things could happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. And at this time of night, nobody would be around to see it. Oh really, that's interesting. <laughs> well, see you. <laughs> Did you hear something back here too? <laughs> yes, a bad things happen to people who sneak up on other people from behind. Let's just be oblivious. <laughs> oh, did you hear something back in here too? No. I'd better get your name. I'm Guybrush Sleepwood, and I was just leaving. Listen, Peepwood. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. Sheriff Fester Shinetop. Take it from me, this is a bad time to be visiting Melee Island. 
a very bad time. My advice for you, to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Boy, I feel so much better knowing that there's an officer of the law around. Hello, welcome. I am having fun with my garden today. It's been a while since I've played it. Ooh, a circus. Ooh, a circus. I love a circus. There's a door there, which we can't do anything with. That's a very important door. <laughs> and it will return for the sequel. Uh, right, <clears throat> so what do I have to do? There was actually something which I needed to do in here. But it didn't happen because I thought it would occur when we left. What may I help you with, son? Ah, I sense the guilt of stealing my chicken grows. Take it. It's yours. Why don't you want it? Is it jinxed with an ancient voodoo curse? No. The pulley squeaks. So, my mind reading skills tell me it is your future you are interested in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? Yeah. Yes or no? <clears throat> I believe if we say yes, it will just give us like a synopsis of the plot. A very broad sort of synopsis. Which I already know, but... Eh. No, don't tell me a thing. Life should be unexpected and exciting. Suit yourself. Just wait. Don't say anything. I can sense your name is... Is... Guybrush. Guybrush knows hair. No. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Am I not right? Lucky guess. Half the people I know are named Guybrush. I suggest you open your mind. It will help you in your coming journey. <laughs> Neat place you've got here. Journey? What can you tell me about my journey? That's, maybe we'll get told about it anyway. I thought you didn't want to know your future. Changed your mind? Uh, we're back to this. I don't know. Either way, I don't know. <laughs> what do people think? Yes or no? It has really no bearing on the plot. It's just sort of, I think it just summarizes things. Eh, fine, whatever. Yes, tell me everything that's going to happen to me. I am getting a vision. And we also get a light show. I see you taking a voyage. A long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah! I see... What? See what? I see a giant monkey. Yikes! I see you inside the giant monkey. Gross! Wait. It is all becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? It, I hate surprises. No! The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. <clears throat> okay. Not really a synopsis, but... Bam. Yikes! Well, she swooped out of here. <clears throat> Thank you, mysterious voodoo lady. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. <laughs> All those pirate voices at the beginning <laughs> did their number on my throat. Ah... Uh.
I really do like the visuals for this game. I, I'm gonna say it again, like with Age of Empires, I prefer them over the updated ones. I don't know, just a hand-drawn pixel, just pixel backgrounds. Very nice in this. That's yeah, the lookout. Uh, I heard there was going to be a weenie, ro weenie roast here. Yikes! You almost scared me to death. I thought you were a... Never mind. What did you say your name was again? Call me Squinky. Okay, Squinky. Who are you? I'm the lookout for Melee Island. I watch the ocean for approaching storms and ships. I report them directly to the governor. She doesn't like unexpected visitors. Especially not now. Why is the governor worried about unexpected visitors? Actually, it's the expected vis visitors we're worried about. One pirate in captain in particular. A dead one, but that doesn't make him any less dangerous. How did you get to be the lookout when you're obviously blind as a bat? Watch your tongue. I was handpicked by Sheriff Shinetop. I'm over here. Eh. Oh. I'll just be off to seek my fortune now. Good luck. I'm not sure, but I think he may be asleep. Okay. <clears throat> and here's the uh, island map. We have several places to go to. An island, clearing, a bridge, lights, a house, and there's something over there. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go to the island. We can see Guybrush walking along the road, walking along the path here. I think if we double click, we'll go faster. Oh? Oh, not for the first time we're going there, I think it is. Visit Fabulous Hook Isle. Restrooms. Souvenirs. Gordy, but in a cheerful sort of way. Anything else about it? Nope. Can we pick it up? Nope, you can't. Oh, let's... Can we... Apparently there's no bridge. What is this? Cable. Hmm, I think it could support my weight. There's no way to try it. Can we use it? Use cable with... No. Well... Rubber chicken. <laughs> I don't know why they just don't build a bridge. Build a bridge, but look at the house. Dingy. Open the door. Hey, I don't like visitors. Who are you? I'm Bob and Threadbear. Are you my mother? No, your mother was a duck. Now beat it. That's a, another reference to Loom. I'm a pirate, Cannonball Head. Who are you? My name's Meat Hook. And I think you've got a little attitude problem. Well, I think you've got a little hair problem. Jeez. You just don't know when to quit, do you? Apparently, obviously, neither did your barber. Why, you... <laughs> I suppose you've come to evade my peaceful home and insult me again, eh? Excuse me, but the sign said there were restrooms in here? Sorry, sorry, but that sign's a little out of date. I used to have a thriving tourist business here. I had animal wax, tattoo demonstrations, souvenirs. But there was a little accident with one of the trained animals. One of our guests was hurt very badly. So I was shut down, put out of business. And since then I've lived here all alone. And the only company I have is the same beast that mauled that unlucky tourist. The same beast that made me a hermit. 
A monster that, just by coincidence, is identical to one that attacked me when I was just a child. And left me with these hooks instead of hands. A deformed man. Jeez, now I'm all depressed. Thanks a lot. Can't you just leave me alone? Yeah. Whoops, I just realized that this is the wrong house. Oh, okay. Have a nice time on Melee Island. Is there anything else we can talk to me talk about? Uh, what was your name again? I don't really want to call him Cannibal Head. Like I told you not to call me that. My name's Meat Hook. And you still have a little attitude problem. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you Cannonball Head. That's okay. I'd rather have a Cannonball Head than a Ponytail. Har har har. I meant to call you Chrome Dome. <laughs> ha ha ha. Hey, you're pretty good. You've got a pretty good sense of humor. Want to see something really funny? I'd really rather not. Like what? A picture of your whole bald family? Family? Yes, please show me, Mr. Meat. Watch this. Say hello, Roger. Hello, Roger. Pretty good, eh? I got a whole routine, but I don't have time to do it all right now. Maybe if we're ever on a long ocean voyage together. But until then, I'm a very busy man, so... Whoops, I just realized that this is the wrong house. Oh, okay. Have a nice time. Say goodbye, Roger. Goodbye, Roger. <laughs> hmm. Let's climb this pole again. And use the rubber chicken again. Wow, it works both ways. That's some chicken. Apparently it doesn't really squeak too badly. Okay, let's go to this clearing over here. Go on. <clears throat> Is that speed up if I've already been there? Nope. Hmm. I need to remember you could double click and it would move faster. Or is that in the sequel? Hmm. Anyway. Ooh, what's this? Some wagons. Um, a big lit up, big um, big tent. Look at circus tent. I think there's something going on in there. Oh, I've got the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I can't do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. It's hardly that. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have to any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Ruffian. Fop. Weasel. Weevil. Miscreant. Toady. Ne'er-do-well. Scofflaw. Mullethead. Mullet- Millethead. Pencil head, half head, cheese head, RP. What? Just get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Uh. Does this place have a bathroom? Whoop. Say there, son. How do you like a chance? A once in a lifetime chance to perform an amazing fate, a death defying fate. Well, not so death defying, really. A dangerous fate. No, not dangerous at all. An easy fate. But exciting. With the amazing, adventurous, acrobatic, and exceedingly well-known, fabulous, flying, Fettuccini brothers. That's us. My brother Alfredo, and my brother Bill. Sound too good? Good. It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? All you have to do is get in the cannon. And we'll shoot you out of it. Across the room... Quite safe, actually. So, what do you say? 
How much will you pay me? How about 478 pieces of eight? Okay, sounds good. Have you got a helmet? Uh, no, I don't have a helmet. Will I need one? Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? Well, let's have it. We want to be sure that it's safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No siree. Okay, uh, well, the only thing we've got for a helmet is this pot here. Ah, that will work as a helmet. Now we can do the trick. Step right over here, son. Now put on your helmet. And get in the cannon. And we'll take care of the rest. Echo. Echo. Boom! <laughs> it works! I'm so relieved! Hey! Are you okay? I'm Bobbin, are you my mother? Where's my helmet? <laughs> I'm Bobbin, are you my mother? He's alright! Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit. Here's your money, sir. Just recompense, recompense for aiding us. We just need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next. No, I'll do it next. No, me! Me! Slacker! Loser! Ruffian! Fop! I've, I've played full throttle as well. Uh, you know what? Actually, I have not. <laughs> I haven't actually played full throttle. I might own it? I'm not too sure. <clears throat> oh my. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've played... I can't really say I've played all of the... Uh, most of the... What are the Lucasfilm adventure games which I played? Secret of Monkey Island, Curse of Monkey Island, all the Monkey Island series. Um, Sam and Max Hit the Road, Day of the Tentacle, uh, Grim Fandango. I haven't played any of the uh, Indiana Jones ones. Uh, I have played bits of Maniac Mansion, but I haven't finished it. I might have seen about half of it in a let's play of of a uh, full throttle, but I don't think I've seen the full thing. And that was a while ago. None shall pass. Oh, it's a troll. Look at troll. Stop. You must pay a toll. <laughs> How much is the toll? Well, what have you got? Some semi-rancid meat? A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle? Don't mess with me. I'm a mighty pirate. 30 pieces of eight? 480 pieces of eight? Nothing of consequence. Never mind, I have to go now. Don't mess with me, troll. I'm a mighty pirate. You're no pirate. Why the town drunk could out insult you on his back. And probably would. I can out insult anyone, you brainless clay doppelganger. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Take that and stick it in your repertoire. <laughs> How rude. You can't pass until you pay the toll. The troll toll. Uh. <laughs> oh please, can't I pass? Boy, do you sound like a wimp. I don't like wimps. Push troll. Aw. Oh. Uh, I don't know what we can give him. How about we give him this fish? Ah, a red herring! Pass. Hmm. <laughs> oh look, there's an ugly pirate walking around over there. 
What are these lights? You just got to just got to admire the music in this game. Uh, so good. Look at sight. Welcome to Stan's previously owned vessels. I'm off researching searching the globe right now for the finest in previously owned marine transportation. Have a look around. I'll be right back. Stan. Uh, look at the door. I don't see anything special about it. Can we open the door? It doesn't seem to open. Is it really a door thing? There's a vending machine here? Grog. Diet Grog. Cherry Grog. Grog Classic. Caffeine Free Grog. And Root Beer. Uh. Push Grog Machine. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Humph. <laughs> Nothing. Use Piece of Eight Grog Machine. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Humph. <laughs> Nothing. Aw, oh, we wasted a piece of ink for that. <coughs> we didn't get anything from it. Thirsty. <laughs> What's this boat? Spiffy. What about this one? Cute, but small. What about this one? Dull, dull, dull. Fuel economy. What about this one? Now that's a nice looking vessel. What about this one? As is. <laughs> ah, a fixer upper. There's a long, long ship there. Long boat. Looks like one of those well engineered imports. What about this one? I'm surprised this one's still afloat. Okay. Well, it doesn't seem to be anything to do right here, here at the moment, so let's leave. Uh, what about this house up here? Hmm, look at the sign. Captain Smirk's Big Body Pirate Gym. Prices. Sword training, 30 pieces of weight. Cannon firing, 160 pieces of weight. Balls extra. Grappling hook, 130 pieces of weight. Hook extra. Hmm. We need sword training. I think I'll knock. It's only be it'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimply little spineless maggot? Can we step inside? It's a little chilly out here. What did you say? I said it's a little chilly out here. Hmm. You're right. I could catch a cold. <laughs> what do you want? Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? Better than the Swordmaster? Ooh, we get a close up. You! Ha ha ha. You could never be half the sword fighter Carla is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Point Royal. The local constable... Constable... Thing. It looked like we were done for, but then she said... But I digress. You just don't have what it takes. I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course, it will cost you. What have you got? I figured you'd do it for free. <laughs> All I have is this dead chicken. I think I'll wait. Thanks anyway. Oh, I got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more. Say no more. Let's see your sword. Uh, I do have this deadly looking chicken. Yes, swinging a rubber chicken with big pulley, metal pulley in it can be quite dangerous. But it's not a sword. Let's see your sword. I don't want to show it to you. 
I think you're better. Let's see your sword. I guess I forgot to buy one. I suggest you get your sorry butt down to the store and buy one. I'm not in the habit of loaning swords to students. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Apparently we can't become the master of using a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. Nah, let's go to the village. There is a path there, but there's nothing it actually leads to. Dirty rotten pirate. Actually, I mean, there's nothing we can do with that right now. Can we just talk to them? What happens if you go to them without a, without a sword? I'm getting ahead of myself here, but come on. Oh! Just have to wait for one of them to meander along this road where we can get to them. There's one. It's because he moves to where you click, not necessarily to the pirate. There we go. Move out of the way or I cut my way through. Nice night we're having, isn't it? I sure hope you have something more important to stop me for. Why do you guys talk so much? Don't talk so funny. Pirate lingo. It's how everybody talked back then. Come on, Guybrush, play along. Sorry to bother you, I'll be on my way. Okay. I mean, he does move faster than the other pirates. <clears throat> okay, let's go to the shop. Since we have a whole bunch of money now. Which we received from risking life and limb. Mm, we could also buy, buy a map now. What happens if you spend all of your money in the vending machine? There'd have to be a failsafe. The thing I like about the Lucasfilm adventure games is that there's no real dead ends in them. Unlike the Sierra games, um, you can't actually get yourself into an unwinnable situation. There is one in Monkey. There is one in the Secret of Monkey Island, but you have to work for it. Or kind of, you have to just have to wait. Uh, talk to Citizen. Excuse me, but do. Oh, it's you. Only you again. Come back for the map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island, eh? I hope you brought enough money this time. I'll take it. It will make a swell gift. There you go. You've made a wise decision. Now get lost. Look at map. I think I've been had. This is no map. It looks like... Dancing lessons. Do the monkey! Back 234, left 234, right 234, and so on. Hmm. And he looked so trustworthy. Oh. Hey, where'd you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster. Who, by the way, says you can go jump in the lake? And when I come back, you're gone. See if I ever do you a favor again. Yeah, fine, whatever. Pick up salt. Yoink. And we should probably get this shovel as well. Since we're most likely going to be doing some treasure hunting. Yoink. There we go. And anything else which we could do in here? Got a special on shovels today. Yeah, I'll we'll talk to you. What do you want? I could really use a breath mint. You're telling me? Yeah, take one. Please. Take a whole roll. That will be one piece of eight. What else do you want? <laughs> about this sword. What about it? How much is it? That's a hundred pieces of eight. Take it or leave it. 
I'll take it. Great. Best 100 pieces of eight you've ever spent. What else do you want? Are they gold coins or... How about this shuffle? What about it? How much is it? Another would-be treasure hunter, eh? That'll cost you 40, 75 pieces of eight. I'll take it. Great. It'll pay for itself, believe me. You'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? Ha ha ha. What else do you want? I think I just like the brows. Hey, this ain't no boutique. Don't take all day. Fine, fine, let's just leave. Close. Hmm. Hmm. Well, actually. Oh, we got some breath mints. Breath master, for the pirate who cares about first impressions. Uh, use breath mints. Ooh, that's refreshing. Well, actually, there was a pirate who, uh, who had really bad breath, so let's give him one of these breath mints? They look like lifesavers. I kind of want lifesavers. Anyway, uh, give breath mints to prisoner. Ooh! Grogo mint! How refreshing! Thanks! So, have you come to release me? Sheriff Shine Top sure is a jerk, isn't he? No kidding. Best of Shine Top is the meanest man on Melee Island. Luckily, the governor keeps him in check most of the time. We used to have a fair, decent man for a sheriff. But he recently died under mysterious circumstances. If you ask me, I think the new sheriff had something to do with it. I think you've said enough, Otis. Whoops. Uh. I hope you haven't been taking this filthy vagrant too seriously. He'd say anything to avoid paying his debt to society. <clears throat> Do you mind? We're having a private conversation. Don't take that tone with me, monkey boy. Or I'll gladly lock you up in there with Otis. Then you'll have plenty of time for private conversation. Sorry. Look, I don't know what you're up to. But whatever it is, it's probably illegal. So forget it. Yeah. Whatever you'll go on Mealy Island, I'll be watching. And if you try any monkey business, you'll end up in here for good. Man, is he a pill or what? You see what I have to put up with? You better get going before you get us both in trouble. Can I talk to you about anything else? Can I get you anything? Yes. You can get me out of here! Actually, something to get rid of these rats would be nice. I'd trade you this carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made. I hate carrot cake. Who are you? My name is Otis. At least, I think it is. I've been in here so long I can hardly remember. You gotta get me out of here before I can lose my mind completely. Can't you see I'm innocent? But why are you in jail if you're innocent? I was framed. I didn't touch the stupid flowers. What flowers? The yellow caniche and dormy flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. So how's the food in there? Oh, you know, the usual. Slop, grog, gruel. Rats, bugs and body lice if I can catch them. I have the carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made, even though she knows I detest carrot cake. Actually, the cooker's at the bar is an old friend of mine and sometimes he sneaks me food. Like pork trimmings, mostly feet and lips, but once in a while, you'll bring this really odd rump roast. What was so odd about the rump roast? 
Well, it's the only rump roast I've ever seen with a prehensile tail. So who'd want to frame you? I don't know ex who exactly. I think it was a conspiracy, and if there's one type of piracy I don't like, it's conspiracy. Look, I'd like visitors and everything, but I don't have much more to say. Plus, my throat's getting dry from all this talking. Why don't you find someone else to talk to? It's not like I'm the only pirate left on the island or anything. <laughs> hint, hint, I've said all I can. Okay, fine. Uh, layering it on a bit heavy there. <clears throat> but the dialogue's so enjoyable. Uh, ahoy there, fancy pants. What do you want? Mm, I'm looking for the Swordmaster. Look, I told you, she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again? Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Again. Be right back. And don't touch anything. I never figured out what his walking stick is. It looks like a giant tooth or something. Well, we see him go. And there he goes. Okay, let's let's follow him. Hmm. There's actually much easier the most following missions and all that. Because I can't don't believe you can actually catch up to him. I think I've actually gotten in front of him, in front of him there, a few times. Storekeeper, and he disappears into the fork. You've never played the Monkey Island games, actually. I I encourage you to play them yourself. They're very, they're good fun. The dialogue is very enjoyable. Oh, I didn't see where he went. <laughs> Bugger! Uh, this way. Was it left or right, what right way? Other people are gonna have to tell me. I didn't see which way he went. <laughs> it's just a shame there are no voices. There is a remake which has voice acting in it, which you can buy on Steam. The voice acting is good. It's done by the voice actors which were used for Curse of Monkey Island, the third one. Um, but I just prefer playing. I, I again, I'm just playing the original. Uh, Actually, I've got an idea. Uh, can I do this? Let me see. Um, if I go to... Eh. Hmm. Ah, well, I'm not going to be able to figure that out right now. <laughs> I was going to look on the recording. Anyway. I'll go right. I think we've taken too long. And to get in the remaster, you can also turn off the remaster. Uh, but I guess in the remaster, you can also turn off the remaster, but still have the voices. Um. I would assume so. Um, the remaster comes with upgraded graphics, yes, and you can switch between them really easily. I think it's just one of the function keys. Um, it's like F10 or something. So, I'm pretty sure you could play with the original graphics and the, um, voice acting. Um, ooh, here's some yellow flowers. My, what an unusually bright yellow they are. Pick flowers. It's a striking yellow colour. I think we've taken too long and I can't follow him. Uh... Yeah, yeah, we've taken too long. And some red flowers. Some same old red flowers all over the forest. I don't think strolling through the forest picking flowers is very good practice for being a pirate. Well, one pirate ended up in jail because of it, so... Hmm. I believe we're pretty lost. Thank you. 
Ooh, a stump. Just a regular old stump. Can't pick that up. I can't move it. Okay. Yeah, uh, what's this way? Over here? Nope. What if we go back? And up here. Uh. Oh dear! <laughs> Some bones! Creepy. Can we pick them up? I can't pick that up. I want them glued to the floor or something. Let's go this way. Uh, anything else this way? Again? You didn't used to be able to do um do that. You could do it in Monkey Island 2. I can't actually say whether you can switch them. As I said, I haven't... Do I actually own the remasters? I believe I do. Or at least one of them. Uh, Monkey Island 2 Special Edition I have. So, unless it's under Secret or The Secret on Steam. Oh, I own both of them actually. <laughs> I've played it for five hours. The last time I played it was in 2011. So. But it's been too long. I apologise, I cannot give a definite answer. <clears throat> As I said, this is a version which I have from a CD which I got of a compilation of Monkey Island 1 and 2. Called Monkey Island Madness. Now can we go that way? Nope, there's a rock in the way. Can we just like, get out of here quickly? Let's try and head back the way we came. I thought if we just went random ways, eventually we'd end up back at the entrance. Mm. I like how the, you can see the screen only changes up to there. What is this? Right, yeah, so we did come from this way, so we go this way. I think. Yep. No. And we came down from here, so... Maybe. <laughs> Actually, that's the entrance, isn't it? Okay, we got out of there. <clears throat> well, there's something which we could do in here anyway. Do the monkey. Okay, back, left, right, left, right, back, right, left, back. So, uh, back. Do we have to go through one of these areas? There's two paths here. Oh, they lead to the same way. Okay. Uh, back. Left. Right. And what was it again? Left, right, back. And I like the addition of the little fireflies flying around. Back. This stump is also going to appear in the sequels. Uh, right, left, back. Right, <clears throat> left, and back. Ooh. This is different. Hmm. Walk, look at Plark. The legendary lost treasure of Melee Island. This carefully reproduced piece of Melee Island history has delighted thousands of would-be pirates and their families for generations. Remember, there are other pirates on this island. So go easy on the treasure. Leave some for the next person. Okay. 
Look at Marker. Here lies treasure of such unimaginable wealth. Well, you'll just have to dig it up to believe it. Paid for by the Millie Island Chamber of Commerce. Look at the X. Hmm. Looks like a big plus sign. What could that possibly mean? Uh, use shuffle with X. This shouldn't take long. Hours pass. Hey, I think I hit something. Oh boy! It's a t-shirt! Not my size, but a nice one nonetheless. Well, I guess I should put all this dirt back now. More hours pass. There we go. <laughs> well, I've left it exactly as it was. Now oh, we got a sheet t-shirt. I found the treasure of Melee Island, and all I got was the stupid t-shirt. Ooh, what a treasure. And it will just lead us back out. Okay, that's nice. Move out of the way or I cut my way through. Well, I don't really want to do it with you. Sorry to bother you, I'll be on my way. Yeah, he's just got huh? Well, we found one of the things we need to find. We found the treasure. However, I lost the uh, shopkeep, so we'll have to go back. And get him to lead us there again. <sighs> it wasn't a complete bust, though. Uh, we can actually go through this door and it will be a little faster. There we go. <clears throat> okay, back into the shop. Hey, where'd you go? Yes, yes. I hack halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster. Who, by the way, says he could go jump in the lake? Yeah, 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 yeah. We've heard it all before. I come back, you gone. See if I ever do you a favor again. What do you want? Uh, I'd like some rat repellent, please. Ha! Huh. I'll bet you would. But I haven't got any. What else do you want? Now I'm looking for the Swordmaster. Again. It's like I told you, she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again. Hmm. <laughs> Guess I could hike all the way over there. Again. <laughs> Be right back. Don't touch anything. He sure is eager to just march, march all the way across the island. Or now ask. Okay, now let's keep an eye on him this time. Uh. <laughs> we nearly caught up with him. Okay, and he goes to the fork. And he went that way. Right. Let's keep on his tail. Ah! I've lost focus on the window. And... Oh. What? <laughs> okay. Look at sign. Danger! Open ravine! Hmm. Okay, fine. Whatever. Don't question it.
I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on business. This kid came into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike and don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another merely island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram! And he just wanders off. <laughs> uh. Well, we know where she is now, so we can't really do anything with that at the moment. How dare you approach the Swordmaster without permission? Which I surely didn't give you. Uh, my name's Gumrath Threepwood, I've come to kill you. Hi, I'm selling these fine leather jackets. Do you have one in size 3? Of course you don't. Because you're not really a jacket salesman. Oh, perceptive. Let's be honest, you're here to prove yourself to the pirate leaders in hopes of one day becoming as immoral as they are. You nailed it right on the head. Gee, you're smart. What was your final grade in Captain Smoke's sword fighting class? Uh, grade? Class? You mean you came here to take on the Swordmaster of Melee Island? Possibly the greatest sword fighter in the entire Caribbean. Without a single lesson in the art of fencing? Yep. How did you expect to defend yourself? Gee, I don't know. I see. Obviously, not with your razor sharp wit. I'd advise you to seek out Captain Smokes and get some real training. It would hardly be ethical, sporting, or even interesting to fight someone as unskilled as yourself. So beat it. Oh, well, okay, fine. <laughs> uh, can we just exit over here? Nope. Okay, we have to go. We can't go in the house. It's a nice little scene, though. Doing things out of order does have a benefit. We get to see more dialogue. Okay. And we don't have to go through all that again. We can just go straight to her house because we know the way now. Uh, right. I want to go... Over here. Yep. <clears throat> Okay, we have a sword now, so let's get some training. What do you want? Oh, it's you. Let's see your sword. I like how it just cuts to the chase. Okay, check it out. No pun intended. Yeah, that's a nice one. Let's get to it. Maybe he gets kickbacks from the shopkeeper. <laughs> okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I've got no choice. I need the money. Yes, I can see this is going to take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special... Student mentor pieces of eight bonding. That I'm going to these lengths. I'm going to put you up against the machine. Machine? Is this going to hurt? Yikes! Come at me. Don't be afraid. You won't hurt me. Watch your footwork. No, beat first, then lunge. Use your forte against, forte against the foible. Advance, thrust, recover, parry, ripper, repose. Advance, thrust, recover, parry, repose. Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad, you've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. 
Sword fighting is kind of like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros. They just, they know just when, what, when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see kid, your wit's got to be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay. Imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting and I say to you You fight like a dairy farmer You respond with Oh yeah? So's your mother I am rubber, you are glue You must be thinking of someone else I am not a farmer <laughs> I can see we've got a lot of work to do here You should have responded with something like how appropriate, you fight like a cow. You see, it's razor sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this, you're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with, Oh yeah, so's your mother. I am rubber, you are glue. How appropriate, you fight like a cow. <laughs> no, no, no. That was the response for the last insult. Doesn't even make sense when used here. Uh, correct response to Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab would, be, would have been something like First, you'd better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. I'm sure you're feeling something similar. Okay, well. <clears throat> we have the beginnings of our repertoire. And there's a bunch more pirates around here. An ugly pirate, a stinking pirate, and a dirty rotten pirate. They all just wander around constantly. So let's go invade one's personal space. Move out of the way or it cuts my way through. You ever noticed how all these roads start to look the same? Yeah, now that you mention it, they do. It's probably just that we're tired. My name is Skybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Tring. Uh. We actually got an extra insult. Because of that bit was the uh, troll. Do you get that one normally? Anyway. We have a bunch of other ones down here. I give up, you win. You call yourself a pirate. What an idiot. Boy, are you ugly. But those aren't proper ones. We have these three up here. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. So he said shish kebab. First, you'll better stop waving it like a feather duster. I've heard, I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Uh, we don't have an answer for that one. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. You fight like a dairy farmer. Hey, we know that one. How appropriate, you fight like a cow. Uh, I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. He must have taught you everything you know. Oh, I give up, you win. I think it's best two out of three. Aye, this better be important. Prepare to die. Uh, I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Oh yeah? No, he doesn't know the response. 
Yeah, I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Oh yeah. <laughs> this guy's not very good. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. <sighs> I give up, you win. Okay, well we won our first battle, but we didn't learn anything from it. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Gyrus Threepwood, prepare to die. <clears throat> so yes, this is the uh, insult sword fighting. It's a series of uh, witty remarks and stinging bar, stinging re responses. Uh, we didn't learn any new ones from that, so hopefully he'll he'll know the uh, response for this. Yep, good. Maybe he'll say something different. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. That's a new one. I am rubber, you are glue. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Oh yeah? Uncle, uncle! Move out of the way or it cuts my way through. We've just got to keep doing this as we build up our repertoire, <coughs> learning, uh, what's it called? <laughs> learning insults and then getting the uh, responses for them. Uh, people fall at my feet when they see me coming. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. No, oh, it doesn't know the response. Uh, have you stopped wearing diapers yet? I am rubber, you are glue. <sighs> I don't know if there's different levels of uh, competency amongst the pirates around here. Eh, you fight like a dairy farmer. I am rubber, you are glue. He didn't know anything. Give up. You win. Okay. Uh, bloodthirsty pirate. Come on. Prepare to die. Mm, yep. People fall at my feet when they see me coming. Even before they smell your breath. There we go. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. He must have taught you everything you know. I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. Even before they smell your breath? I give up, you win! Okay, what have you got? Uh, we got some new, um, some new insults there, so... We use them against this guy. Uh, which ones do we have? We got that one. Uh, we didn't get this one. Why, do you want to borrow one? I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. Uh, even before they smell your breath. I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. How appropriate, you fight like a cow. Nearly rhymes. Uncle, uncle. Though rhyming is not an aspect of this. Okay. Um, I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I am rubber, you are glue. Oh, I don't know that one. Yeah. I've heard you are a contemptible sneak. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Is it always this guy doesn't know anything? I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. Oh, nope, he knew that one. You make me want to puke. 
Why? Do you want to borrow one? It's 2-2. Two, two. I've heard you are a contemptible sneak. Hey, we just used that one on you. Uh, I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. So we both knew that one, but we didn't know the reply for it. Yikes, nice move. There's apparently two bloodthirsty pirates around. Okay, go, go after him. Hunt him down. There we go. Uh, you make me want to puke. Oh yeah. Aw. Mm. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. Oh yeah. I've heard you are a contemptible sneak. Oh yeah. <sighs> Wow, you're good enough to fight the Swordmaster. N n not yet. We could possibly win, but... What do you want, you scurvy lubber? My name's Governor Sleepwood. Prepare to die. Uh, this one. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Ugh. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. Hey! Nobody's ever drawn blood from me and nobody ever will. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. I've heard you're a contemptible sneak. Oh yeah? Look behind you, a three-headed monkey! Aye, ah, this better be important. Okay. We'll do this until we get a few more. Mm. Did we get that one? Nobody's ever drawn blood from me and nobody ever will. No, I don't think we did. You run that fast? Hey! You have the manners of a beggar. You run that fast? Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Oh, we know that one now. Uh, why? Did you want to borrow one? Uh, you make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Hey, we got two responses for that one. That's pretty good. Uh, you. Okay, let's see if we can get maybe one or two more. Uh... We got that one. We got those. They got that one. This one. I've heard you're a contemptible sneak. Too bad nobody's ever heard of you at all. There we go. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me and nobody ever will. You run that fast? Uh, I'm not going to take your insolence sitting down. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, eh? I've heard you are a contemptible sneak. But, okay, fine. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. Hmm... Boy, are you ugly. <laughs> you have the manners of a beggar. I, want to, I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. 
well, he won that. But we actually got a good amount of replies there. So let's go to the Swordmasters. We might be able to do that now. It's a fun little mechanic in the game. And we get to see it in a different way now. How dare you approach the Swordmaster with... Oh, it's you again. <laughs> My name is Guybrush Throughput. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. Now, you'll notice something immediately there. She's not using the same insults. Uh, so we have to come up with appropriate responses. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. Every word you say to me is stupid. Also, she always gets to go first. Uh... I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. I've got a long, sharp lesson for you to learn today. I don't think we actually ever got the uh, response for that one. I think because I think the response for that one is I've got a little tip for you. Get the point. Um... Even before they smell your breath? You can get people to repeat their insult if you've forgotten it. There are no clever moves that can help you now. How appropriate you fight like a cow? That rhymes. No, that wasn't proper. I will milk every drop of blood from your body. Yep, fine. <laughs> That's the proper one there. How appropriate, you fight like a cow. No one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. You run that fast? My wisest enemies run away at the first sight of me. Uh, even before they smell your breath? There we go. Okay, you win. Well, I hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the Swordmaster. You'll need proof. Yeah, this should convince them. And she goes into a house. And we got another t-shirt. Look at 100% cotton t-shirt. It says, I beat the Swordmaster. Yay. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, how are we going for time? Hmm. Well, we've done two out of the three things. You'll see that the pirates are wandering around still. You can actually still deal with them. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. And, uh, you'll notice, perhaps, that, uh, our repertoire is, uh, has, has grown, because we have all of the, uh, Swordmaster's insults. So, every word you say to me is stupid. That's not fair! You're using the Master's insults, I see. So... It allows you to easily win because they don't have the responses for them. So. There are no clever moves that can help you now. <laughs> yeah, you can wipe the floor with people. No one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. 
I don't know if you can do this in uh, Curse of Monkey Island. I don't think so, because I think it ends after the fight. Wow, you're good enough to fight the Swordmaster. Funny that. Okay, um, so we have two out of the three things. Let's go do the last thing. We'll get all these three things out of the way first. Before I switch over. Uh, go in the door. Actually, no. I'm, 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 I'm doing this wrong. There's something we have to do first. So we'll head back to the scum bar. Apparently they don't mind that we just left the door open. You can't close it when you're inside. A nice touch. <clears throat> We could give the items to them, but I like to give them all to, give them all to them at once. So, wait over here for the cook to head out. Come on, cook. There's people out here who have orders. coming? Hey! You can't come back here. Y yeah, I know. I'm waiting for you to leave. Come on. There we go. Okay. You have to be reasonably quick. Use yellow petal with pot of stew. It's not a bay leaf, but every cook makes substitutions. Use hunk of meat with spicy stew. Use meat and stew. Pick up meat and stew. Ouch! Got it! It's some sort of meat or meat-like substance. Okay, well we got stewed meat from that. Whoop. Now let's go to the mansion. We'll close the door. So everyone doesn't get cold inside. Not like it hasn't been open most of the night anyway. Or most of the, uh, most of the 10 o'clock. Since apparently time stands still on Melee Island. This place really is apparently rather expansive. Ugh. <clears throat> okay. Hello, deadly piranha poodles. I don't think I can get past them. Uh, use stewed meat with the deadly piranha poodles. Yum, no, 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 Important notice, these dogs are not dead, they are only sleeping. No animals were hired during the production of this game. Well, good to know. They're sleeping peacefully. Can we pick them up? I can't pick that up. Talk to them, I don't want to wake them. Oh, They're cute when they're not trying to rip your head off. Open door. Okay, closed door. Hmm, we're inside the mansion. Uh, pick up the vase. Yoink! A priceless Ming! Look at painting. I don't recognize the man, but that looks like the dog at the bar. Pick up the painting. I can't pick that up. Look at books. No time for reading now. There's a ship in a bottle. And there's nothing else. Can we go up here? It might be locked. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Okay. Fine. Well, there's only really one thing which we can do in here. Open door. 
<clears throat> going here. This looks like a job for Festa Shine Top. Ow! Crash! Ooh! Better leave this here. Fuck! Ow! Hypnotize quarrelsome rhinoceros. Crash! Ouch. No! Push. Not the red button. Push red button. Kaboom! Fuck. Crash. Look at. Tremendous yak. It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. Push. Tremendous, dangerous looking yak. I can't move it. Pull. Tremendous, dangerous looking yak. I can't move it. Pick up staple remover. Use staple remover on tremendous dangerous looking yak. Thought. <laughs> Walk to books. The game's taken over. Pick up manual of style. I'll need this. I must be nuts. Pick up wax slips. Crash. Ouch. Ah. Gophers. Pick up gopher repellent. Use gopher repellent with gopher. Use gopher repellent with another gopher. Use gopher repellent with gopher horde. Use gopher repellent with funny little man. Oh. oh. Look at Fabulous Idol. It's beautiful. Open lock. I can't open it. Uh oh. Pick up heavy chair. <laughs> Use heavy chair with sheriff. Fuck. <laughs> Crash. Bang. That should hold him for a while. If only I had a file, I could get the idol. Hmm. Well. I think I will continue until we get this first chapter out of the way, since we're nearly done with it. <laughs> then we've got a staple remover. I bet this will come in handy. A manual style. I think it's some kind of religious text. Wax lips. They're yak-sized and covered with slobber. I'm certainly not going to chew on them. Look at gopher repellent. It says gophers won't come near you with this stuff on. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Hey, Otis. Uh, it still calls him a prisoner. Uh, give gopher repellent to prisoner. Hey, this might work on the rats! Thanks! Here's the cake. Look at cake. It's heavy. Um, that's a big carrot cake. Use cake. <laughs> Apparently we ate it? It's a raspy metal file. Apparently there was a file in it. Can we use the file on the lock? I better not wear it out before I get the idol. Okay, fine. We probably can't give it to him anyway. He didn't notice that it was heavy? Eh, yeah, whatever. I don't think I've ever had carrot cake. Okay, open door. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Look at gaping hole. I don't see anything special about it. Well, it was created by you. Can we open- can we go back in here? Because apparently we came out this way. I locked the sheriff in there! Oh. Okay. Um, well let's go through the hole then. I've got the file. Oi! Fuck. Womp womp womp. 
Use manual or style with shredder. Give stylish confetti to heavily armed clown. Whee! Kaboom! Crash. Throw wax lips in fire. Ow! Bang. Use file on rhinoceros toenails. Wait, what? Crash. That's not important. Use file on lock. Pick up fabulous idol. That's what it looks like. Looks like a dicky thing. Fuck. Bonk. Phew. That was a close one. At least I got the idol. But I'm not done with you yet. Uh oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I could explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. She said I could have it. I was just going to borrow it. It belongs in the museum. The pirate leaders told me to do it. It belongs in the museum. Of course I choose that. <laughs> Ha! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says it belongs in a museum. That's right, it does. What? You heard me, Fester. The real question is, how did you get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Just go away, Fester. I can handle this. Humph. <laughs> I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So my idol belongs in a museum, eh? Well... Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who who's tried. Although I have to admit, not many get as far as you have. <laughs> Jeepers. My lookout told me of your arrival. I wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... Sweet. I see. Well, you're obviously not in the mood for an idle chit chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do. I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Uh, I really wish I knew how to talk to women. Okay, well, after all that, we have the fabulous idol. It's beautiful. Um, I suppose. Doesn't actually have any hands. Uh oh, where do you think you're going, three word? Uh, three word? You know, it's not too late for us to make up and be friends. Yeah. And it's also not too late for me to kill you and still make it to the bar for happy hour. Hand over your sword. Uh oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troubles making days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important. And much too near completion. To risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake, or Droop Face, or whatever your name is. Kick. Ugh. Hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. Oh no, and we're underwater. Hmm. Well. 
I think, uh, if I can find, yep, I'll save it. Uh, part one, because I'm going to be cheeky and I'm going to leave it here <laughs> on a cliffhanger. No, no, how will Guybrush Threepwood get out of this one? Is he doomed to be underwater and possibly drown? There's a lot of sharp influence around him. But will, will, will he be able to get out of it? Tune in next time. Ugh. So yes. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me for this first part of The Secret of Monkey Island. And I hope you'll join me for the exciting conclusion, maybe. Probably take about three streams to get through this, so the way it's going. Three or four? Hmm. I think that's about... Oh, what are the sections of this? Is this one... There's the next part... Eh... Uh, hmm... I can't remember whether I'm missing a part or not. Actually, no, there's this, that, then that. So there's about, I think there's five chapters for this game? Chapters, but they're not even length. Oh, <laughs> hey Nick, I just committed a felony. Does it, did it involve that big knife you've got there? Yeah. What should I do with it? Get rid of it. I'll throw it in the water. No, don't do that. Why not? I need to ditch it. It might wash up somewhere. What do I care? My prints won't be on it. I'm throwing it in. Nah, I might need it. See you. See you. <laughs> Damn. We were so close! Uh... But yes. We'll save it. Okay, well, we'll save it, and... As I said, we'll leave it there for next time. So, I thank you very much for joining me for this part of Monkey Island. Secret of Monkey Island. And I hope you'll join me for the next one. I will stop the recording here.